All right, here's my 4-watt preheat fluorescent strip light. Let's get a really good look at it. Do you notice anything missing? You can see the ballast there and the starter there. Let's turn it on. Awesome. Do it one more time. Cool. Well, what's missing from this light is this right here. That's right. You see this? We are going to paint my 4-watt preheat fluorescent strip light with the Diesel Ducey Rainbow. So, I will show you how we're doing it here. Let's go in the other room and we'll mask it up. We'll get a very close look here. As you can tell, each color is approximately one centimeter. So I'm going to do one centimeter strips all the way across. I'm going to set the camera down and you can watch me mask it. This one's a lot easier than doing diesel doocy. Because all I'm doing is in one centimeter increments. All I got to do is right here, make sure I line it up with the paint line. Allow 15 minutes in between each paint color. It's very easy. So, all right, this is masked, and we do the same thing over here. Now we'll go downstairs and we'll paint. All right, now we're down here in the basement. I got it all masked up. That right there is one centimeter. Keeping this on is the hardest part. Right here is the portion we're going to paint. Shake up the paint a little bit. See, this is a piece of paper. Use it to test the paint. See, it's good. Now we're going to actually paint the fixture. Here we go. Now the middle. See, this is what I mean. This, this tape will not stay. This is the worst part. Alright, let's go back to painting. Here we go. There's the middle. One more little pass. There we go. Now this side, hopefully the tape will stay down. All right, now, all we do is remove the masking tape, peeling away from the painted surface, and there we go. Then we take off the masking paper, and there's one piece of masking tape there, and we peel it off, and there we go. Another segment's been added to the rainbow. All right, here comes the next shade of pink. Again, we'll test it out here. There we go. Now we're going to do it on the light itself. One more pass, okay? And now, over here, one more pass. Now we're ready to remove the tape. Again, peeling away from the paint. my masking paper and this masking tape and another rainbow color. Oh, it's time for the next yellow. For some reason this tape on this side never wants to stick. So again, got the paint shaken up, do a test. Ooh, the yellow looks nice. We'll do this side since the tape didn't want to stay down first. Oh. Before I even start painting, there goes the tape. Now I better hurry up and do it. Here we go. Let's see here. Oop, got my thumb. One more pass. There, now the top. Really don't need to do that many passes on this. Now this side. All right, that should be done. Now, now it's time to paint. See, it's already coming off. White coats. Take this off. And now, pulling away from the paint, I guess I can hold it here now. Masking paper and masking tape. And it looks to me like this light is more than half done. One more pass. Uh, okay, looks good. Again, let's remove the masking paper and look how much we just got a little bit left to do. All right, now I got the actual fixture here. I'm gonna make this end blue 
I might make this end orange. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that yet, but this end is about to get painted blue. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stick the masking paper uh, down in here to kind of cover the fixture itself because I'm just painting this one end right here and we're about to do it. I'm going to do a test paint real quick. Here we go, test paint real quick. Now I'll paint the actual end of the fixture. Here we go. All right. One more pass. They are the end of the fixture. Is painted. You can hear my wife griping upstairs. That'll be it for this. All right. Since this is going to work out the way I want, I'm going to go ahead and paint this in orange. And yes, a little bit's going to get on the cord. So here we go. And my hand too, of course. To the other side. Here we go. Yeah, a little bit got on the cord. Let's get this side right here. Now I will take the masking tape off and let it dry while I'm holding it. Uh, I guess I'm going to have to go over it one time without the masking tape. Oh well, if it gets orange, that's fine. There we go. Looks good to me. Sorry you didn't see that on camera, but there it is. That's it for this. Alright, here we are on the last of each color. The last orange, the last pink, and the last yellow, and the last green. So, And the last blue, of course. So here comes the orange right now. Of course, a little test. Now on the light. Here we go. One more pass. Now this part, we're starting to get over where the starter socket is now. Alright, now we're going to do, we're going right over the starter holder. That one doesn't need a very big pass because it's not very much to paint. Now, lastly, the back side. One more pass. Alright, now we'll do this side right here. One more pass. Alright, this is the last green pass. The last blue. I'll test it out on my finger just for the honors. See? There's my blue ring. And now we will commence the painting the final blue. Here we go. One more pass. Okay, there we go. Now, this is where the screws go in to hold the bottom to the top. Alright, we'll do one more pass toward the bottom. Okay, and that's it for that. Now, we'll do this side. One last pass. Alright, this is it. The last paint for this light. Alright, it's done. Now we'll put the paint away and remove the last masking. Here we go. And watch this. As you can see, the light is finished. Now I'm going to let it cure for a couple days. Then I'll decide whether I'm going to go oil paint it. So, for the actual painting of the light, that's it. And here's the light all finished. I did glow paint it, and yes, I clear coated it. So let's watch it glow. Alright, here we go. As you can tell, it glows. So, hope you enjoyed, and that's it.